Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. News update. You have turned southeast to a killing field. Ohaneze slams Nigerian army. Now, the Ohaneze in Debo, uh, they are lamenting over the security situation in the southeast as it's been deteriorated. Yes, the security situation in the southeast is getting worse by the day. And the Hanese is not shielding the army any longer. They accuse the Nigerian army. Say, look, you guys are responsible for what is happening in the Southeast Zone. And also, the unknown gunmen. They said, unknown gunmen and the army. They have turned the, the Southeast Zone, the Ibo land, into a killing field. Hanese is lamenting the entire situation that have turned soil. Through the President General of the Hazendebo, Iwanyawo, he said his heart is bleeding over what is happening in the southeast, in Igbo land. Talking about the killings, the killings, the uh, the entire security situation that is grotesque, yes, unpalatable. Iwanyawo said, let me quote part of his task statement, quote, my heart bleeds over the sad events in Igbo land, where Igbo we are for the first time killing fellow Igbo. I am equally very distressed by the rate at which the Nigerian security operatives are killed, not only in Igbo land, but all over the country. Worse still is the suspected reprisal where innocent Igbo sons and daughters from Mbano in Igbo state have found their lives and means of livelihood completely destroyed. This situation is completely unacceptable to me. I condemn it in strong terms. Meanwhile, I wish to I wish on behalf of all Igbo worldwide to express our deep sympathy to the families of the security agents who were gruesomely murdered. We also sympathize with our people in Mbano, Imo State, whose shops and houses were destroyed during the reprisal. I've stopped quoting now, so this is what the honest is saying about the crisis in the southeast being orchestrated by the Nigerian army. Now, what we are talking about Ohanese is this. In as much as the Ohanese, they are responsible for all these things that are happening in South East Zone. Yes, Ohanese, Ohanese has, you know, you know, their own portion of blame for all we are seeing in South East today. There's no doubt. But at this time, we must move forward. Ohanese should be bold enough to tell the truth. Not saying unknown gunmen and the army they have caused the South East to be a killing field. That is to generalize the whole statement. You have to be particular. Tell the government. You said you are Hanese and you have the endorsement of five South East governors. Tell them to, you know, tell this Nigerian army to Vamoose to go back from where they are coming from. Not telling all oh, the unknown government. What, what caused the unknown government activities in the South East? The Nigerian army, they caused the activities of the unknown government. They brought, upon, they, brought, they brought it upon the people. Yes, there's no doubt. The forceful disappearances, the attacks by the Nigerian army. Look now, they have invaded the community in Mbano, and that's what the owners are saying. The invasion of a human Mbano community, those places, they are called for. Why will they invade the communities? But because something happened there. You are burning shops, raising buildings, family houses down, killing people, innocent civilians, because something happened in their community. They are not aware of what happened. They don't know about it. So you are killing them, destroying lives and properties, means of livelihood of the people. So what do you expect? It's natural that people will react to what is happening in their given environment. So that your government shouldn't give you the leeway to use arms you know, inappropriately to, you know, destroy lives and property at will. That is not how it is done. Yes? So, your government is a mutual something. You have, there's a constitution, there's law that governs the country. And you must abide by it. If you're a president, if you're a governor, you should not, you know, use brute force on the people against the constitution or the rule of law. But here it's not working. There's no constitution. They're using the rule of money and rule of power. To govern the people and what will you get in return 
Uh -huh. So what you bargain is what you have seen, and that is the point we are making. So the organization should be bold enough to tell the government that, look, this is the problem. The problem is the army, not whatever they are saying, whether the UGM or whatever. The problem in the South is the army. Let them vacate. Let them go back to where they are coming from. Let's see in the next two, three weeks whether there will be peace in that zone. Let them try it. Then you give it a trial. Three weeks you will see absolute peace and tranquility in that zone if the army is not there. If the DSS they are not there. If the you know other security agents they are not there. They are the ones causing problems. Some of these unknown activities of this uh, you know UGMLC. Some of them are the ones causing it. Yes, but particularly for the area of civilians, when you see UGM, like when I was saying that, look, oh, the Ebos are killing Ebos. It's not true. In most of these cases, you are seeing the, they said, oh, UGM attack on civilians. So most of these things are being done by DSS. They are being perpetrated by DSS. So that they will say, oh, Ebos are killing Ebos, just like when I was saying now. Yes. Those DSS, they will go and claim on non government, they will go and kill the people that is zone, and they will say, Oh, Ibos are killing Ibos. So they are the problem, they are perpetuating these crimes. They should leave. Let us know what is happening. So we are saying, On oh, if you are bold enough, if you want to solve this insecurity, these are the things you have to put to the table to this your so called governors. Let them go to Abuja and tell those who are concerned if they are interested in restoring peace. So if you people are indeed. You know, looking for a solution to these problems. We have said it. Release Mazin Amakano. Okay? Ask the soldiers to Vamus. Let them go from where they are coming from. Yes, that's the beginning of the healing process. Otherwise, all the things you are saying or you are doing is you are shedding crocodile tears. Nobody will take you serious because if you know, you know, we are the best, you know, you don't see the bed, the bed you know, as, as, and start asking. Where is the bed is eating from? Where is the mat of the bed? Where you have seen the bed and you have seen the mat. Are you asking again? Where is the mat? Where the bed is eating from? I like am saying. So the honest should be bold enough. They have seen the whole situation. They have analyzed it. They have done their pressure and they must know that look, these are the things happening. They're on ground, they are seeing all these things. If they say they're not seeing it, they are lying. They're okay. So they must be bold enough. It is time. Stop lamenting. This lamentation must stop. Rise up. Take the bull by the horn. Like you have said now that the army, they are responsible. You have to maintain it. Don't say other thing. Don't say other thing. Oh, there are people who are joining them. No, nobody is joining them. They are responsible and them alone. Okay? Only them are responsible for what is happening in the zone. They should vamos, let us 